Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Columbus School of Chinese in Columbus, Ohio. My name is Donald Newman, and this is Ask a Chinese Teacher. On today's episode, I'm going to be answering the question, how can I practice my tone production on my own at home? The simple answer to that question is drills. So today I'm going to be going over the first set of drills along with instructions on how to make them the most effective for you that you could use to practice tones at home. But before we get into that, if you're finding Ask a Chinese Teacher helpful, make sure you subscribe to the Columbus School of Chinese channel as I'll be uploading weekly episodes of Ask a Chinese Teacher into the future. And also, if you're learning a lot, make sure you check out our website for classes available to you. I guarantee I'm much more effective as a teacher when I have you in class. So whether you're in Columbus, Ohio, or throughout the United States, or even abroad, there's online or on-site classes available for you. Check us out at www.columbusschoolofchinese.com. So the word drills maybe isn't the most exciting thing to a lot of people, but uh, drills can be a very effective learning tool, especially for adult learners of any skill, including a language. And if there's any aspect of Mandarin that uh, learners from beginner to grad students could all use more practice on, it's tones. So today I'm going to be going over the first set of tone pairs uh, that's just first tone and all of its other possible pair combinations. So that means first first, first second, first third, first fourth, and first neutral, okay? I'll try to split it up so we're just focusing on one set at a time in the video. Now, as we're going through all of these tone pairs, since I'm not there to tell you how you're sounding, uh, what I recommend doing is follow along with me the first time through, and then what you wanna do is re-watch the video, and if at all possible, I'd recommend recording your voice somehow. Um, if you have a smartphone, voice recording apps, or uh, on your computer, if there's some a functionality to record your voice, that'd be perfect. Because when your brain is trying to talk and listen at the same time, it's a little bit harder to hear exactly how you're doing. All right? We want to be focusing on the combination of pitches for this particular pair. So as we're doing one pair, we're gonna be going over many words with the same exact tone pair make sure you're focusing on producing a good first tone and then producing a good second tone, whatever it is, whatever the second one happens to be in relation to the first. Okay, so here is our first tone pair, first tone, first tone, right? Um, this chart, the higher you go on the chart, the higher your pitch of voice should be. So the middle of the chart here should be your normal, comfortable speaking pitch. This should be a little higher. So for both tones, the first tone, uh, this should be higher than our normal speaking voice. It should be up here. And of course, down here would be lower, right? Okay, so I'm gonna be reading five words that are first tone, first tone, tone pairs. And I'll be putting all of these words in the information box below the video screen. You can check it out later on your own, all right? Jin Tian, Xing Qi, Qi Ba, an bin wen xin All right, excellent. Our next tone pair is the first tone, second tone combination. What you wanna be paying attention to here is your first tone is still high and flat. Then we have to come back down a little bit. So you're starting below that first tone and rising back up to where the first tone was. Jun pang Chu Bie Zhong Guo An Li Ting Wan. Okay, excellent. Moving on to first tone, third tone. First tone still remains high and flat. This time, there's a drastic change between our high first tone and our very low third tone. It doesn't have to do much movement. We call it the dipping tone, but it really doesn't have to dip too much in order to do it correctly vis-a-vis -vis this first tone, in relation to this first tone, right? So make sure this one's high, this one's very low. Okay, let's take a look. Jin wan, wen nuan, 
张美，香港班长。All right, next we have first tone, fourth tone. And I think out of the set of tone pairs I'm doing today, this is the hardest one for Americans to practice. So make sure you're focusing on keeping this first tone very high and flat. And then the fourth tone starts very high. It starts just as high as the first tone. So you're doing your high first tone, make sure you're paying attention that it's higher than your normal pitch of voice. And then this starts up here and goes all the way down, all the way through your entire register, all the way to the floor. Okay, let's take a look. 今日歌唱当地伤害欢乐 all right, our last tone combination for today is the first tone, neutral tone combination. So first tone, our normal first tone stays high and flat. What happens with a neutral tone? A neutral tone in general just wants to seek out your comfortable mid-range. So uh, it's gonna sound like a little drop, but that's only because we're just returning back to the middle of our range. So we're gonna do a nice high first tone and drop. 狮子，包子，听了，歪的，猜了。All right, there you go. That is our first set of tone pair drills. Um, if this was helpful for you, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, share it with others, share it with your classmates, and don't forget to tune in next time. I'll be doing all possible tone pairs at some point going forward in the show. So with that, good luck, and we'll see you next time.